Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some, probably the most of the cloudy skies out there with a good amount of serious cloudiness across the region. Going to see warm to hot conditions today, temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s across the peninsula. Inland locations will see the mid 90s today. Dew points won't be all that high for this time of year, so our heat indices will only be a degree or two above the actual temperature for this afternoon. But overall, a hot and humid day for early June and uh, continuing with that warm to hot weather through the remainder of the week with better chances of thunderstorms once we move into tomorrow. Our sounding from this morning, we have a freezing level at 13,100 feet, winds out of the west to northwest throughout the column this morning around 25 to 30 knots in the low levels then increasing once we get above 12,000 feet up to 45 knots at 25,000 feet this morning. Our current surface analysis have a warm front well north of the area this morning. A trough that's moved off the coast will have this Bermuda high continue to pump the warm and slightly to mildly above average temperatures across the region. You're going to see those temperatures about 10 degrees above average for the next several days across the Mid-Atlantic region as this area of high pressure continues to affect that warm weather into our region. We'll have several areas of upper level disturbances moving through the Mid-Atlantic region, one moving north of the Mid-Atlantic region today, and then one should move through the Mid-Atlantic region, including wallops tomorrow, especially in the evening hours, giving us a pretty good chance of some showers and thunderstorms. So taking a look at our current satellite imagery across the region you can see just abundance of cirrus gladness across the region going back in time just a bit here and looking at that cirrus gladness just kind of rolling through from the northwest to the southeast and continuing for today with some filtered sunshine taking a look at the radar imagery this morning you can see we have a area of thunderstorms across Pennsylvania that will be moving north of our region today and looking at those shower and thunderstorm chances being very minimal and really not seeing much of a chance at all here while for today to break the heat. So looking at the European model for the next few days, this is for Wednesday afternoon and continuing into Wednesday evening you can see all that activity off the north, some activity developing across the Ohio Valley and uh, trying to move into the northern Delmarva Peninsula overnight tonight but uh, going to have a tough time to get past the Maryland-Delaware line uh, for the late evening hours into the overnight hours should see dry conditions at wallops and then Thursday looks like we'll have an area of showers and thunderstorms developing on the least out of the Appalachian Mountains and that should provide us with a decent chance of some showers and thunderstorms late in the day uh, most likely after uh, 20 local or 8 p.m. on Thursday the European model is still kind of showing the showers and thunderstorms not making it into the coastal plain of the Millank region including Wallops, but I do expect us to have a decent chance of some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow evening. And then for Friday we'll have this kind of baggy trough across the region giving us a chance of some showers and thunderstorms mainly during the evening hours on Friday as well. Uh, models have continued to back off on the thunderstorm chances on Friday and increase on Thursday. So uh, giving a as a slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms on Friday and then Saturday we'll have a cold front move through the region here's our Saturday evening uh, precipitation you can see showers and thunderstorms moving through along that cold front and giving us a pretty good shot of seeing some rainfall across the region as well as some embedded thunderstorms so for Sunday we'll see high pressure building in uh, less humid conditions and very nice weather overall some showers or possible thunderstorms across the interior northeast but overall across the mid Atlantic region really nice conditions for Sunday and into Monday and into Tuesday looking like we'll have nice conditions across the region and that'll provide us with overall just some good weather for the beginning portion of next week. So taking a look at our forecast for today we'll have a high of 91 degrees a low of 72 tonight Winds gusty this afternoon out of the southwest to west southwest, sustained 11 to 16 knots, gusting to 25 knots, and with that, a possibility of a wind advisory. We'll have a slight chance of a rain shower during the early overnight hours with that complex of storms and showers well off to our north, possibly getting into the region with just some rain showers and a 10% chance of a thunderstorm. 
Looking at our 24 hour terminal forecast, we'll have VFR conditions the next 24 hours with just an abundance of upper level cirrus cloudiness across the region. As I mentioned, we'll have that chance of a rain shower from midnight till 3 local on Thursday. And a slight chance, a very slight chance, 10% chance of a thunderstorm from midnight to 2 a.m. And by Thursday, 8 o'clock local time, we'll just see partly to mostly cloudy conditions. Overall, nice weather. Uh, just some humid uh, conditions with temperatures already up into the upper 70s. Our tides are currently normal. And Thursday into Friday, Thursday, partly cloudy with a slight chance of an evening shower, thunderstorm, warm, humid, and slightly breezy. A high of 87 degrees will have a 20% chance of a shower, thunderstorm, before 8 local on Thursday in the evening and then chances increase after that to about 60% from about 8 to midnight on Thursday uh, night. Looks like scattered showers and thunderstorms before midnight, then mostly cloudy to partly cloudy, a low of 67 degrees and that 67 degree low is expecting some rainfall around the area. If it doesn't rain, we'll see our lows in the low 70s. We'll also see a chance of the ceilings below 500 feet or visibility below a mile. And for Friday, partly to mostly cloudy skies, a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm a high of 84 degrees. We'll see about a 20% to 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms mainly during the evening hours of uh, Friday with also a chance of our winds uh, near 25 knots during the afternoon on Friday. So the next seven days we'll see those hot and humid conditions at 91 degrees today, 87 tomorrow, evening thunderstorms a 60% chance, 30% chance on Friday, high of 84, 87 degrees on Saturday, so a little bit warmer on Saturday compared to Friday with a chance of those p.m. thunderstorms at 60% and then really nice conditions from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Temperatures in the lower 80s to upper 70s, uh, lower humidity values, overnight lows uh, Monday and Tuesday in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day. We're back at 8.15 and 10 a.m. tomorrow morning.